The Philippine Navy is on the brink of a significant enhancement to its fleet with the impending arrival of two state-of-the-art landing platform docks LPDs. These colossal vessels, each stretching 124 meters in length, are not just imposing in size. They are set to become among the most formidable assets in Southeast Asia's maritime security landscape. With cutting-edge defense systems, these LPDs will redefine the Navy's operational capabilities and reinforce the Philippines' standing as a key maritime player. In a ceremony steeped in tradition and strategic significance, Park Pal, Indonesia's renowned state-owned shipbuilder, held a keel-laying ceremony on May 29 for the second of these two LPDs commissioned by the Philippine government. This event wasn't just a symbolic gesture. It marked the official start of the ship's construction, underscoring the Philippines' unwavering commitment to bolstering its defense capabilities. These LPDs are a crucial component of the Philippine Navy's Strategic Sea Lift Vessel SSV, program, a bold initiative aimed at modernizing the fleet to confront the increasingly complex maritime security challenges of the region. This latest pair of LPDs follows the successful deployment of the first batch, which has already proven its worth across various operations. Designed for versatility, these new vessels are capable of executing a broad spectrum of missions, from high-stakes combat operations to critical humanitarian assistance and disaster response HADR, efforts. What truly sets these LPDs apart is their integration of advanced defense weapon systems, a feature that elevates them beyond mere transport vessels. These systems are engineered to safeguard the ships from aerial threats, including missiles and enemy aircraft, transforming them into mobile fortresses capable of protecting both their onboard troops and valuable cargo. The journey to this point has been marked by significant milestones. Earlier this year, on January 22, Park Pal initiated the first steel cutting ceremony for these LPDs, alongside the keel laying of the first ship in the batch. These ceremonies not only signaled the start of the physical construction but also the beginning of a new era for the Philippine Navy with these two vessels set to become the backbone of its disaster response and combat readiness strategies. In a country as disaster-prone as the Philippines, where typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural calamities are a frequent reality, these LPDs will play a critical role in ensuring rapid and effective response. Their ability to transport large numbers of troops, heavy equipment, and essential supplies will be indispensable in both military and humanitarian operations. The acquisition of these new LPDs reflects the Philippine government's strategic foresight and dedication to enhancing its maritime defense posture. As some of the largest ships in the Navy's fleet, they will not only bolster the Philippines' combat capabilities but also ensure stability and security in the region. The advanced weapon systems on board will serve as a formidable deterrent against any potential threats, safeguarding the country's sovereignty and maritime interests. This collaboration between the Philippine Navy and Point Pal is not a new endeavor. The first batch of strategic sea lift vessels, also constructed by Point Pal, has already proven its worth, playing pivotal roles in a variety of missions from military exercises to critical disaster response operations. The ongoing partnership between the Philippines and Indonesia's premier shipbuilder is a testament to the trust and success that have been built over the years ensuring that these new LPDs will continue this legacy of excellence. As the countdown begins for the arrival of these maritime giants, the Philippine Navy is poised to make a significant leap forward in its modernization efforts. These LPDs are more than just new additions to the fleet. They are game-changers that will redefine the Navy's operational capabilities and strategic reach. 
With these advanced vessels on the horizon, the Philippines is fully prepared to meet the challenges of the future and secure its place as a leading maritime force in Southeast Asia.